Hello, welcome to our art demonstration today. My name is Miss Karen and I am here to show you how to paint pointillism, just like the artist George Surratt. He used tiny little dots really close together in his paintings in order to create the color and the paintings that he did. So we're going to use George as an inspiration today to create a pointillism piece of art on our own. So let me show you my sample. So I did this a couple days ago. I thought, well, I'll make a heart. And I tried to kind of blend those colors together and to create a painting inspired by George. We're using acrylic paint this time. It's a little bit thicker, but it's washable. So if you get it on your clothes or if you get it on the table, it's okay. It'll just come off with some soap and water. And then instead of a paintbrush today, we are using Q-tips. And Q-tips have round uh, a round edge. So when we dip them in the paint and we poke them on the paper, we will make pointillism points or circles just like George Surratt did. So the first thing that you need to do is you will have your canvas and you'll need a pencil and you're going to draw whatever you want to paint today. So it could be a scene from nature, it could be just a design, it could be a heart because of Valentine's Day. You can be creative and put anything on that paper or that canvas that you would like to create. So I felt like I wanted to do flowers today. So I took the time uh, to draw my flowers on my canvas and then that gives me a guide for where my paint is going to go. So here we go. I think I'll start with yellow. Now, if I wanted to, I could go and paint all of the background around those flowers, but I kind of like it like this with the white background. It's nice and bright. So I think I'm going to let this dry, and then I will need to put my name in the corner because I created this piece of art. Now I have to decide where do I want to put this? Do I want to put it in my living room, or do I want to put it by my fireplace? I don't know. I'll have to see where it fits best. Thanks for joining me today. I had lots of fun doing this painting and I hope you will too. See you soon. Bye.